Hi everyone, this is Diane. I would like to show you the steampunk journal that I just completed. I uh, would like to thank Jen from Dreams Etc. for inviting me to be a guest design team member of her um, digital shop. Um, I selected Steampunk Chronicles. She gave me um, Steampunk Chronicles 1 and 2. And I really enjoyed the papers and uh, when you see them you'll understand why. I had lots of bits and bobs that I've been collecting just stowing away in a steampunk packet um, and scraps of paper from other steampunk projects I had done in the past a long time ago. But I really kind of challenged myself and stretched myself with this one and did kind of went beyond what I had done before and using more metal pieces and uh, coloring metal with alcohol inks and doing fun things like that. So I'm, I'm happy with how the journal turned out. I took a plain black book cover. It's not old or anything. Well, it's not new, but you know, it wasn't a valuable vintage book cover or anything like that. Just a plain black. <clears throat> and I showed um, in a previous video that I just took the plain back black cover and Mod Podged some tissue paper on it. It has some silver and gold diagonal stripes on it. So I Mod Podged that on, crinkled it up, and then did that. And then I just rubbed my black ink pad over it once it was dry to grunge it up a little more. Um, on the spine, it has a two and a half inch spine, and I used a piece of fake leather. It's very soft and supple. It's a nice piece. And uh, some black lace on the edge. And I just put this trim with these black and clear crystal-y things on it. I thought that was nice. Can you see that there? And then I had fun collaging on the front. I had created this piece right here with the cork gentleman with the goggles. This is from um, Tim Holt's set of stamps called The Professor. Um, so I had made this piece in another project. It was just um, using cork. And I had stamped Proprietor of Ideas on it and I thought that was an excellent title for a book. So I used this piece as the focal point for the cover. <clears throat> and then I put a piece of blue pattern paper behind it and this little piece it has clocks on it which you can hardly see and then added this on top with um, a piece of the Tim Holtz film strip behind and this is a vintage drawer pull that I got at a flea market I just glued that on with crystal effects um, this little metal disc dangles off of this piece and then I had this metal buckle that came in a bunch of buttons so I just rubbed some gold paint on it and I glued that on and threaded my black seam binding through it and there's a eyelet on the back and I actually had to just put some crystal effects around the the shank part or whatever that's called of the eyelet because the book was so thick the book was too thick for the eyelet to go all the way through so I couldn't pound it down so it's just glued in there and then there is some black seam binding to tie it shut on the inside it's got some black fabric <clears throat> here, and then I just put some scrapbook paper on the inside cover. I created a little pocket with one of the scraps that I had saved from previous books and added this little metal cog on it. I thought that was fun. And I took a piece of another scrap that had some gears on it and stamped this book belongs to. This is a scrap from this paper, and I did a little stamping on it. I'll put some fibers. I haven't put fibers in all of the tags, but I think everything else is done. So on this page, I had created this in a, one of the videos that's previous to this one. Um, so you can see how I did this. This is one of the Somerset-inspired tags. So there's a big tag and then a little tag sideways put on with eyelets and then two smaller tags that I duck colored and stamped to tuck in there and of course this is a tuck spot so this is just a scrap of scrapbook paper that has steampunk images on it and you can write on that and I tuck that in behind 
I used this black uh, kind of a tool and it's it's like little um, pieces of it attached. It's not like one long piece of ruffled tool. It's little little pieces. And I thought that was really fun to put on there. I had put some metal wire through this hole and then I used my stylus and curled them and then I added the black tool which was a mistake to put those two things together so the metal wire kind of it's not in there now but it can get caught in the tool but it's not like they move together anyway so it's not a problem so it's just another little embellishment there I stenciled some gears on that this is one of um, Jen's pages. I will I will leave the link for these journal kits in the description. But isn't that pretty? This is a hosiery ad from the 1920s. And then she added gears and stuff. And I love the teal color. So that's why I went with teal here. I backed it with uh, some lined paper that I have in my digi files that I got from somebody else. I don't know who. Um, coffee dyed paper and I stamped thoughts and theories here and this gentleman who is apparently having a bright idea. And there's just a horn there. I think that came with the professor stamp set. Scrapbook paper that you can write on. I had I have a steampunk coloring book, so I took some pages out of there and inked some colors on it, but you can color that in if you want to. I stenciled on the back of it. Um, this is from some sort of a engineering book or something like that, so it's just got lots of diagrams, and I thought that was fun. I did a steampunk collage in each of the signatures, and that was really fun. So this was just a little scrap here that has some little strips like of um, steampunk metals and gears and things like that, which was perfect because I could stand all of these things on one of the layers to make it look like they're being supported by something. So this foot and this foot get their own layer and then the two bottles he's leaning on. I uh, glued some clock hands from Stampin' Up! that I've had for a long time behind him, kind of like wings, but then I glued her on and it kind of covers that one up. But I gave her some butterfly wings. She's just, a, these are both little Tim Holtz paper dolls, and she's uh, obviously too small for him, but I thought it was really a cute effect, and I put her hand on top of his hand. And then this is just a steampunk hat that I put on top of his head, covering his own little hat. This is one of Jen's papers, and this guy has all these gears and things coming out of his head, and it's just a really elaborate design here, really fun. Um, this is a 6x6 piece of Graphic 45's um, Old Curiosity Shop paper, and I added this piece of a leather-like trim. I got this as a remnant from Hobby Lobby recently, and I bought it thinking I could use it in um, steampunk, so obviously I did. And I, I put it to use again in another way also, you'll see. <coughs> Here's another book that has diagrams. This is a larger uh, 12 by 12 of the Old Curiosity Shop with the hourglass, very much so, <laughs> figures. Um, isn't that a pretty green color? This is part of Jen's kit. There's a clock here with a, looks like a balloon basket or something hanging under it. Speaking of balloons, I stamped one on a, on a coffee dyed index card and punched the corners and just glued it on as a journaling spot. This is a page, someone had sent me a bunch of pages out of a, um, a book about steampunk fashion. So that's pretty elaborate there. Kind of Medea-like. But this was kind of blank space there, so I gave you a writing spot there. I had created this in a previous video, I believe, and this one also. Um, so I just went through my stash of pre-made ephemera and pulled out. There was quite a bit in there that I could use in this journal, which helped a lot. 
I don't know where this came from. It's from an, a digital, but I don't remember where. I just had these cut out and in with my steampunk stuff. So this is a little coin envelope that I stamped, turned on its side, and slit the side of it so it's a pocket. I had stamped this, and I just added one of these pins with a circle at the top and backed it with coffee dyed paper. And this is from the Graphic 45 paper. And so is this. I glued that on as a little tuck spot and added this little tag. It's a gorgeous piece from Jen's kit. You could cut these apart and use them individually, but I use them as a page. Um, this is a game spinner. I did a video on colorizing this with alcohol inks and then I stamped on it and glued it on as a tuck spot. And this was in my stash of ready-made ephemera. I just have to put something in the top of it. It's got piano paper, piano roll paper behind it. Here's uh, the other application for that leather-like trim with all the metal on it. It's too floppy to be a tuck spot. The things would just fall right out. So I decided to tie some tags onto the holes and you can write on little notes on the tags. Um, so I stamped on the tags and they're all copy dyed. And you can just write on them. That's just a little die cut of a steampunk goggle so pretty. And here is um, more of the diagram paper. It's upside down on this side, but not this side. So it must have been a flip book. I don't remember. I stenciled there. Uh, here was a fun little element. I took some of the Tim Holtz film strip and I poked some holes in it so that I could use some of this wire thread again and attach the key. And I I had glued it on as a little tuck spot, but it didn't want to stay. This side stayed very good, but this part came up. So I just added some eyelets to attach it down and then just tucked this little gray merchandise tag that I have. You can see the eyelets on the back, but I think it adds, it blends in nicely with the gears and stuff. This is an octopus with a dive helmet and that's a Graphic 45 stamp. There's a bicycle stamp from Stampin' Up. I like this page that has lines for writing. This is part of Jen's kit. Um, I had made, years ago, I had made a steampunk looking mini album. And I ended up, I never used it. My husband loved it. He said it was the best thing I ever made. Because <laughs> it's more masculine. But I never used it, so I ended up taking it apart, and I've been using elements of it in other things. So this is one of the elements. Originally, you could unwind that and open up this flap, and there was a pocket or something. But because of the way I took it apart and I glued it back together, it's just glued down. So this is completely decorative. It doesn't open, doesn't lift. But it is glued on as a tuck spot. So there's a journaling page inside. And then this was an image from a book. I think it's um, from back then, from whenever this illustration was made. It was a futuristic train, which I think looks pretty cool. Second signature has this piece with cork that I had made previously. It has a Tim Holtz acetate letter, just a bunch of stuff on it, a little piece of metal right there. And this is an extra one of Jen's pages that I had. I only had one that didn't go in as a page. So it went like this or like this, one way or the other. But I love this that it says industrial plus Victorian equals steampunk. So there's your definition of steampunk. There's other added stuff to it. It's not just industrial and Victorian. There's really funky stuff included. And you can write on this piece. Here's another one of Jen's pages. There's a stamp. And 
there's a chess piece the queen the king is in here somewhere I think that's an old um, oh this came off that's an old Stampington and Company stamp, I think. Somerset stamp? I don't know. I think it's Stampington and Company, which belongs to Somerset. I just did a little collage of some extra elements that I had there. Here, this gentleman is standing on the top hat holding a giant clock. There's another color book page. Some stenciling. This was fun. I have Graphic 45 paper with this little gentleman with a top hat from the Tim Holtz paper dolls and He's standing there with his hand on the label. But this was a really fun piece. I think this came out of the same book as that Futuristic Train. It's one of the Time Life This Century books, I think. And it says, In 1901, Judge predicted that motorists of the future would wear costumes like these to protect themselves from dust churned up by their vehicles on unpaved roads. Aren't you glad we don't have to wear those costumes? I backed it with coffee dyed paper and I added one of the optical lenses that I just got at the flea market and a gear on top of that. Another piece of that trim. Here's the collage for this signature, one of the Tim Holtz men. And this was a clock. You see it's each clock, each hour has a hand with that many fingers held up so when you get to 12 it's quite a handful so that was really fun but I covered up the clock part with him I just thought it looked really cool with, for him to have those hands behind him and though that image came from a book that I had gotten at uh, a thrift store about clockwork so it was automatons and music boxes and anything mechanical that moved and probably most of them were from the turn of the century. I think this was from the 1960s actually. Pretty cool. Here's a page with lots of clock hands on it and keys and this is just uh, cut apart from the graphic 45 paper with the the lady with the she kind of goes with that clockworks thing because that's a clockwork lady. There's an arrow paper clip holding her on there. Some stenciling. Another pretty page from Jen. The pretty lace up there. The Gibson girl. This is from the um, steampunk fashion book. And there's another one of those envelopes. A couple of things added in there. I have my window open because it's a nice breezy day, so you can hear vehicles outside. Love this. This was, I think I took this out of that mini album that I had taken apart too. This was a part of a scrapbook paper that I had cut and then attached it to this card as a tab. I think this was a tag, so that's a tag, tag topper. I added this little strip of butterflies and this clock, metal clock, and then this is one of the tags that I had in my stash of handmade ephemera. I just have to add something to the top. This has stamps on it, and here's another of the trims with all the tags. They were fun to make. Look at the gentleman on his in his vehicle with uh, wings and gears, and it's got this corkscrew on the front. It's really cool. This was a sticker, clear sticker that someone sent me. I think I got it when I purchased a journal from June's Journals. Um, I took this lady from the Curiosity Shop. It's the Clockwork Lady, and I backed her with. A piece, an element from a page that had gears and stuff, added the lens and put this number on it, metal number, which I colored with alcohol inks. If I can get it turned around properly there. And then I just tucked a little merchandise tag in there. 
Here's another little collage I made. I stamped this ruler on the page so that she would have something to sit on. I stamped her and cut her out, but I I cut off her dunce cap that she had on, or her pointy cap, and rounded it, you know, so it was shaped like her head. And then I stamped this and cut it out and added that to the top of her head. This was um, an old paper, old scrapbook paper, and all the papers looked kind of like this, and they looked like radio parts and stuff like that. So I cut this apart, and then I used my X-Acto knife and cut that little slit right there. And it's glued down. It's not a tuck spot anywhere where around it, but you can take this image and tuck it in that slot. I thought that was fun. And the third signature, we have again another one of these tags with the curly Q metal here. A couple of tags inside. I stamped this little row of Charlie Chaplin's on that tag, but to me they're steampunk gentlemen. All of these images that Jen used in her paper are fantastic. Here's the King chess piece. There's another, there's a stamp there. And then this is another of the clear stickers. At first I thought it looks like a bug or something, but it is a bicycle coming straight at you. <laughs> there's the Charlie Chaplin's again. And here's the collage for this signature. It's another of the Tim Holtz men with a bird cage. There's a light bulb in the bird cage and I put a little, it looks like metal, but it was plastic, so it's lightweight. Put that behind him. I only had one, so he only got one wing. And this is another of the clear stickers. The other items are stamped. Uh, here we have a light bulb paper clip, and it's holding this paper on. And this little element. This paper right here is actually an old one I've had. It's the only piece I have left, I think, of the Graphic 45. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it featured a lot of children's toys. And this is from the Steampunk Punk Fashion Book. This book was so fun to make. I only made one because it was kind of involved. What is it getting stuck on? Look at that beautiful image. And then here is the piece that I made with the cupcake wrapper. There's a video about that. It's just a paper cupcake wrapper with different colors of embossing powder on it and then I collaged on it stamped image and then some metal pieces and um, I put an eyelet at the bottom and dangled this off it. I didn't do this add this part on the video but it's got a little padlock on a bulb pin and there's another of the gentlemen with a it's a paper gear behind him. Stamp. There's a lady on this page. And I did this on a video. It's a slide that I colored with alcohol inks and then I colored these pieces with alcohol inks. The key, the gears, and the clock. It's just an embellishment. And I stamped this clock and added these little, these are game spinners, not clock hands, but I put them on and I covered the brad with that piece. Stamped this bicycle blueprint thing. And here is the glassine bag that I had stamped on and added a piece of the film strip and I tucked this tag in there.
And that's what this came off. This was just a paper clip with a bicycle hanging on it. So that was on here to hold this up. So when you take the paper clip off and you can open that up and then open it again. And tucked in, this was a page from that mini album I took apart. There's a little tuck spot here. I tucked in this library card. It says polarization microscope, see polarizing microscope. That's what it said on the card. And then I stamped this image on it. And then this is from the book jacket from that Clockworks book. So this is a steam man. You can see steam coming out of his whistle. I think he's got a whistle in his mouth. And there's looks like steam coming out of his head too. Kind of looks like a plume. Maybe that's what it is. But anyway, I thought he was really cool. You can see the workings inside. So I backed him on coffee dyed paper and just set him right there and this will hold him in place. And that is the end. So this will be in my shop when the video goes on. When the video is published this will already be in my shop. Um, in addition to that, I have some extra ephemera pieces. So some of these were previously made in my stash and some I made with when I did my video, so I have extras. So I'm going to sell this set of steampunk ephemera or industrial ephemera. So this is a time card that's folded over this way and it's got some cork. It says thoughts and theories and there's some stamping on it, a um, little collaging and a couple of brads and a number. So that could make a fun tag tucked into a pocket. Uh, here's one of the spinner cards. Uh, here's this multiple tag tag. And it's got the wire in it. This was just one of the little cards. These are the ones that I added the little pin and then backed it with coffee dyed paper. I just left it blank. You can write on the back and then the, cup, the cupcake wrapper thingy. Just got all turned around so the padlock is upside down. Or maybe I put it on wrong. I guess I'll have to fix that. So anyway, this is the cupcake wrapper with the embossing powder. There's a little metal ring around his goggle and some gears. And then this, I have to finish. I wanted to do it before I made the video. But I have to play the piano for a wedding tomorrow, and I have to alcohol ink the metal pieces that are going to go on this. And I have black ink on my hands from doing this today, but um, if I do alcohol ink, I'll have color all over my hands again. So I will add the pieces to this before I send this out, before I probably before I even take the picture. So the picture in the listing should be complete. So I will have one journal and one set of ephemera in my shop when this video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this fun uh, journal. I enjoyed working with Jen's kit. Thank you so much, Jen, for inviting me to be a guest designer. Uh, I really enjoyed that and I appreciate that so much. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you again soon. Have a crafty day. Bye-bye.